So you've said that judges are in fact accountable and that judicial accountability is probably more stringent than those faced by any other decision maker in our society. That's a very bold assertion I hadn't heard before. Um, what do you mean and how do you justify this claim? I stand by that assertion. <laughs> I've just been preparing a case now for a case in, in England. <laughs> and goodness, I've had to go through pages and pages of, pre of previous judgments. Now, what other area of human decision-making uh, does the decision-maker give you 100 and sometimes 150 pages <laughs> of reasons for their decision? Where does that happen? Sometimes just you know, a line, sometimes not a line. Sometimes just, you know, yes or no. So that's a kind of accountability, isn't it? Uh, there's another form of accountability, which, which is legal cases normally require uh, a, a very independent legal profession to put the case to them first on the one side, then on the other side, So it's in, and in open court. Um, so everything can be seen and monitored. When the judgments, perhaps not always 150 pages, but where, however long they are, uh, come out, they are then, uh, they're published, uh, and uh, academics and others can pore over them and criticize them openly, uh, uh, and so on. So that's, uh, that's a form of, uh, you know, a, a deep form of accountability, not to mention the fact that in many instances, cases from the lower courts can be appealed to the higher courts. So there's another bite at the cherry. Where else in decision-making do you get that? 